Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see that how we can match the delimiters using the functionality of stack. So basically to match the delimiter basically means that if we have the expression, mathematical expression, so we want to check the that whether the brackets are correct or not. So if we see this expression where we have this uh, bracket, then we have the curly braces, then we have the parenthesis so this is a starting one then once we have the uh, starting parenthesis then it should be closed by the by the close parenthesis then the curly braces then same the curly the brackets right so the order is same if you see the expression is this one so order is completely same right but if you see like in this case in the second case so what is happening here that we have the bracket then curly braces then parenthesis then we have the two curly braces right so what would happen that uh, till here it would work fine but when it would check this one so it would expect that i should be closed by bracket right not curly braces so this is a not correct right same is the case for this one but if we have only the closed one so again this is not correct again if you see in this one so what is happening here that we have two brackets but at the last we have only one brackets so again this is not correct right so basically our aim is to check that whether our expression is correct or not whether the all the brackets all the uh, all the operators are in correct manner or not right so how we'll do that we have the function check correct brackets and where i'm passing the string right so here i'm passing the string as so what it would check basically first of all i will inslice the stacks so I'm using the Java library of stack where I'm saying that I will use the characters type. You can also implement stack by your own. We have also explained that how we can implement stack using array or using linked list. So you can see those videos. But here uh, we'll be using the library of Java of stack library. So now one by one I will traverse the each character of this string, right? So what I will do here, I will check that I will my main focus is only on the brackets right so I will say that if the brackets are the starting one the opening one then simply push into stack right so that is why I am saying if the bracket is the curly braces or the brackets or the parenthesis then just push into stack and break it now if it is the close one so if it is a closed one, so first of all, I will check that whether stack is empty or not. Because if stack is not empty, then again, this is not valid case. It means it's the case that we we don't have any this one, but we have the closing one. So in this case, our stack will be empty, right? So it will go here and it will say not valid bracket. But if it is not the case, so first of all, it will pop the element and it will check that if your element, if your element is this one, then your character which you are popping out should be this one if it is this one then your character the popping out should be this one if it is the close parenthesis then your popping out element should be this one all right so by this way we'll check that if the order of the brackets are same or not if it is a curly braces then it should be the curly braces right it should be the closing and opening both parenthesis or the brackets right so that so that is for the ordering now if there is any case which doesn't match so we'll simply say this is not valid brackets at the case of this character or this bracket right and at the last we'll return false else if it is not the case then we'll break the element and at the last we'll check that if stack is not empty then it is not valid bracket else return true all right so now let me show you by using debugging that how it is working so here i have inside the string and here i am passing in the function so here first of all it will check that so here what is my character my character is starting one so push this into stack now again check so now my character is this one so again push again push okay so now it will check what is my character 
my character is this one and what is my poppy character so this is opening one so it means it is correct right so again it will go it will check what is the character which, which we are popping out okay first of all see the character so it is closing it is closing curly braces and what is the element which we have popped out it is starting curly braces so it means that is also correct now what is the element here so this is the opening bracket and here we have the close bracket so that is again correct so at the last it will return true right but here in this case it should return me false because these curly braces two curly braces are not correct right so let me show you it will go here it will first of all push elements so now this is okay and now you can see so what was my character my character was closing curly braces but what is my popping out the element this is starting bracket which is not correct right so that is why it, it would give me not valid bracket and it will return false same is the case for this one so what would happen here that it would say that you have not you don't have any opening one but you are trying to have the closing one so here our stack would be empty so it will go here and it will say not valid brackets and it, at the last it will return false and same is the case for this one so what would happen it would work fine for all the cases it will also push but at the last it will fail so let me show you so it is checking all the cases so now here so here it will say that your stack is not empty it means there is one character which is left so you have one extra opening opening brackets so that is why it is happening right so it at last it will give me false so if you see here that you can see all the printing so true then not valid bracket at this character this bracket then false not valid bracket false false right so this is how we can check any expression that whether they are correct or not this is how we can check the delimiters so that's it guys for this video we have checked all the edge cases and uh, if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you